Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to make a digital planner with hyperlinks in Canva that you can sell on Etsy. So first we need to head to canva.com, log into your account, and let's get started. Head to create a design. In the search bar, I'm going to type planner. I'm going to pick the top option that's 8.5 by 11. Here are some templates that you can use to get started for your planner. So if you aren't familiar with what digital planners are, digital planners allow you to plan on an Apple or Android phone or tablet using note-taking apps such as GoodNotes and Notability. Digital planners can be used as standalone planners or they can also be used in conjunction with physical planners. So now I'm going to design the cover. Find whichever elements you want to use and arrange them on your page. I'm going with this floral design. I used these flowers in a previous design, so I'm going to use them again for the cover of the digital planner. Before creating your own digital planner, you do want to think about what you want to offer your customers. You also may want to think about what kind of theme or design that you want. A good tip would be to plan out and write down what you specifically want to include in your digital planner. So that way you'll be able to know how many pages you'll need in the document. This digital planner will only have 16 pages, a cover, a home page, one page per each month, and two notes pages. Type T on your keyboard to bring up a text box and include any text that you want on the front cover. So in this design, I'm going to put the year, which is 2024, as well as the words monthly planner. Also in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to upload your digital planner to Etsy, as well as how the digital planner works on my iPad. If you want a more in-depth video on how to upload products to Etsy, as well as how to use this digital planner, let me know. Once you have all your text and elements where you want them on your cover, now we're going to make it look like it's an actual book. So in this design, I decided to let the cover look like it was a hardcover book. You can choose to put binder rings in yours, whichever you prefer, but you're going to go to elements and type in shadow in the search bar and go to graphics and hit see all. And here's the shadow that I used here. You would want to pick a shadow that's rectangular. So all you're going to do is use one side of the shadow to create the hardcover look. So once you have your cover complete, hit add page. On the second page, we're going to start adding our tabs. You can grab a rounded rectangle from the shapes or choose your own shape and make whatever tab shape you'd like. So you're going to move your tab to the upper right hand corner. I decided to change the color of my tab to fit more in line with the theme of the flowers. Once you get the desired shape and size of your tab, make a copy of it. Make a small amount of space in between the two tabs. Once you have that desired spacing, select those two and copy and paste until you have your desired number of tabs. So with the planning of your digital planner and determining how many pages you want it to have, that's why it's important to do that before you start designing so that way you know how many tabs you need specifically. So in this case, I'll need 15 tabs. Once I had 15 copies of the tab, they went off the page a little bit. So I'm going to select all of them and make them a little bit smaller as a group. Once you have all your tabs placed, highlight them again, right click, align elements, and hit tidy up. So because I don't want my tabs to be this long, I'm going to hit R on my keyboard to insert a rectangle. I'm going to make the rectangle the same color as the page background. I'm going to lengthen it until it's as long as the page. So I'm going to slide it over to the right a little bit until my tabs look how I want them. 
So now you can see here that it looks like a set of dividers. And you can also choose to add like shadows to your dividers, but in this example, I just left them as they were. Another great tip would be to name each of your pages. So this page, which I titled the home page, is basically going to say this planner belongs to with a few lines. When the pages are named, it allows you to hyperlink to them better. You'll be able to see this once I start to hyperlink the tabs. So now it's time to start labeling the tabs. So I went to my recently used elements and grabbed these three icons. Each of these icons are going to specify a certain page in our digital planner. I'm going to highlight them all, make them smaller, and change them to white. So the little icon of the person is going to link to this home page that I'm working on. The little book icon gets you back to the front cover of the planner. And this paper icon gets you to the notes pages. So here I'm determining which tab I want each of these icons to be placed on. And the other 12 tabs are going to have the months of the year. So now I'm going to add the months of the year on each of the tabs. So here are all of the tabs that are in our digital planner. So the reason that we're going page by page is because I want to hyperlink the tabs before I make copies of these pages. I'm going to hyperlink it once on page two and then duplicate page two and then add all of my other elements to each individual monthly page. So here I was kind of deciding whether or not I wanted to change the background color of all of the pages. You can certainly do whatever colors best suit you or your brand. You can add shadows to certain elements to make it look more real. You can add binder rings and you can also orient this landscape so it actually looks like an open planner. And now would also be the time to make sure that you like the colors and the layout of all of the tabs now, because after this, we're going to just be duplicating this page and say you don't like it, you'd have to go back and make changes to each of those pages. So now I'm going to add in all of my pages. As I add each page, I'm going to give it a title based off the tab that it corresponds to. So what we have done so far is the cover and our home page, which includes all of our tabs. So now we're going to head back to the home page that includes our tabs. So in order to create hyperlinks, you do need a page that corresponds to each of the hyperlinks. So that's why I inserted all of the blank pages that I'm going to need for this digital planner. So now we're going to begin hyperlinking our tabs. So just a reminder, you'll have to hyperlink both the tab as well as the text or icon that's on the tab. And again, we're going to click on the text box, right click, head to link, scroll down to where it says pages in the document and pick which page you want that text or tab to link to. 
Instead of scrolling down to where it says pages in the document, you can also just type in the page name and it'll bring it up. And I'm doing the same thing with the text as well. So whenever I link the text box to a certain page in the document, it underlines the text. So I just click on it and deselect underline. So now I'm going to go through and link all of my tabs to their appropriate pages. So you may be asking, why do we have to link both the text as well as the tab? So if someone's going to be clicking on each tab, they may just tap on the text itself or the tab. So you want to make sure that no matter where they're tapping on the tab, they're able to get to their desired page. So now I'm going to highlight all of the tabs, their text, and the gray rectangle. I'm going to copy and then paste on each of the pages in the document. So here are all of the pages with their tabs. So now it's time to set up our monthly pages in our digital planner. So since each monthly page will be the same, I'm going to set up January's page and then copy and paste to the remaining pages. So this page is going to have a calendar, a space for goals, and a space for notes. So to set up the calendar, all you need to do is head to Elements, Tables, and then pick whichever table format you like. So once you pick which table you like, you'll have to add more columns and rows to accommodate the months. If you go to the left hand side of the table and click on the plus, it'll add in more rows. If you go to the top of the table and click the plus, it'll add more columns. So for this calendar, you're going to need seven columns and six rows. The top row is going to house the days of the week. So right now, the top row is black. You can click individual cells within the table and change the color. So now I'm going to add in all my days of the week at the top of the calendar. Now I'm going to copy everything on this page except for the tabs and paste it to the rest of the months.
So once you have your digital planner created, now it's time to download and add to Etsy. Head to Share. Click on Download. And it already suggests that we have links in our design. So it says for links to work, please choose PDF. I'm just going to pick PDF Standard. Once you pick that, hit Download. Head to Etsy.com. Once you're logged into your account, head to the Shop Manager. Up in the top right corner of the Listings page, click Add a Listing. So it says first, tell us about your listing. This basic info helps us understand your listing and how it meets our policies. Next, you can dive into the full listing form to add all the details that make your item special. What type of item is it? In this case, it's going to be a digital file. A digital file that buyers will download. Then you choose who made it, what is it, and when it was made, and click continue. So now you just have to put a title, photos and video, add the files that your buyers can download once they complete their purchase. So here's where you're going to upload that PDF that we just downloaded from Canva. Your description, your item's price, the category that it'll fit under, tags, your materials used, your settings, and your renewal options. Once you have all of your information about your new listing, hit publish. So here's some footage of me using the digital planner on my iPad in the GoodNotes app. So this concludes the video to how to make a digital planner with hyperlinks and Canva that you can sell on Etsy. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If you'd like to purchase this digital planner, I'll have it linked in the description below. It is available on my Etsy shop at a discounted price. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. If you have any questions about anything I've gone over in the video, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.